taking you for a ride somewhere? Yeah. yeah. Where are you going? To Jesus' house. One of the worst things I've ever been through is going home without your baby. You want to go swing? The first time I said out loud to anybody that, um, you know, this is my daughter was when I was checking her like, in at the NICU, and I'm thinking, I'm a mom, I have a baby, this has all, you know, happened. And then to go home that night without your child. She was diagnosed with hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, which is HIE, which means that at some point during pregnancy, labor, or delivery, her oxygen was cut off to her brain. Coming down, Mom. We had no idea. Would she ever walk? Would she ever speak? Would she be able to feed herself? We really had no idea at that point. And we've been extremely fortunate with how relatively minimal her, her impacts have been from this in the long run. I cried the first time she rolled over. I don't think that people who don't experience these kinds of things rejoice over milestones the way that parents going through this situation do. Good job. You are way up high. Every family just wants their kid to have the opportunity to reach their potential. And therapy is one of the ways that we've, we've seen that in Amelia. Staff at Youthful Horizons was really, really encouraging that we should apply for a grant with Elevations. We received a grant um, probably pretty early when Amelia was in her speech therapy, so when she was two or three years old, and the following year they told us to apply again. There's our fishing pole. Can you get me the yellow fish? The work that Elevations does in supporting kids in therapy is so critical in getting them set up for success as they grow and develop. So the earlier kids get intervention, the better their chances of succeeding are and gaining those skills. The turtle long. He's so If Amelia had not started speech therapy, I think she would still be really lagging behind kids her age. She has the confidence and the skills she needs to reasonably keep up with, with other kids and to play and to not feel held back. And there's still areas that we're working on, uh, but I think without therapy and all the extra help that she's had from that, I think she would be in a very different position currently. Hold on tight. Okay. And as a parent, you just want your kid to have every opportunity to succeed and reach their potential and all of those things. So giving her the confidence and the skills through therapy has been really, really good for her.